right, Tom. What did you want? Look, uh, Origins is coming up. I need. I don't have time for it, so I need you to go around and just do the video vlog of the Dice Tower. Go around and get everything on camera. Hey, wait, whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. I thought I'm supposed to be doing the video vlog. Look, look, I need a softer, gentler touch. What? Um, also, whoever records it, edits it. Oh, I got you. Um, have fun with that. So, here you go. Okay. Well, uh, what, what, what kind of stuff should I record? Just whatever you want. Go around and just video whatever you put your mind on. Okay, I can do that. Hooray! Right. Okay. Oh, uh, he, here's something interesting. <laughs> look, look at this crazy old penny I found. Look at that. It's got, it's got like toothpaste or something stuck all over it. <laughs> who, who would let that happen to their penny? I mean, come on. Um, okay. I'm going to have to clarify on this. I don't know why I'm doing this. You. Shut up, Sam! All right. Board game stuff? Yes. Boring. Got it. Well, hello. I am straight off the plane. In fact, I still have my luggage with me. Well, right now we're all booked. But I've made it to Hall D, where the Dice Tower crew is setting up their booth area. Is this interesting yet? So we got Marty from Rolling Dice Taking Names helping out as we set up. He's working hard. And we have special guests that are at Origins. Travis and Rodney. Do what I do, read rule books. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it never ends. Or rule sheets. It still counts. Okay, thank you. Oh, Matt from Board Game Replay. Standing next to the world's biggest Pokemon sign. Oh, and world's biggest Pokemon inflatable. Don't let that fall on you. Again. So this is what the booth looks like at 549 on a Tuesday afternoon. So there you go. Look at that. That's going to be something else when we're done. But for now, I'm going to uh, stop filming them and actually go help. That's right. Oh, they heard that. Darn it. So with the booth all set up and ready to go, it was time for me to check into my room, grab a quick shower and a change of clothes, and come right back down and prepare for doing the interviews that the Dice Tower was going to be conducting throughout most of the week. You are watching the Chaz Marler Origins Dice Tower vlog, because the rest of the internet is blocked by your company's firewall. My roommate at Origins was Eric Sutterer. There he is. So, hey, Eric. Tell us, what is your favorite thing about Origins? Uh, well, you know, it, it's a big, good-sized convention, but it's it's not overwhelming, so you get the excitement of new releases, but but it's not so crushing as a, maybe a larger convention like Gen Con. So it's got a good feel, a good vibe to it. No, no, no. Stick, stick to the script that I prepared for you, please. I'm glad you asked, Chaz. The best part of Origins is the fantastic people you get to have as your roommate. I'm so fortunate. Why, Eric, thank you so much. I, I'm so flattered. I, I had no idea that you felt that way, buddy. One thing I've noticed about this hotel, though, is the elevators are not the fastest. Oh, I hear an elevator on its way. I think it's going to be this one right here at Dings. It's elevator roulette. Two more elevators behind me. Elevator! Did I win? Oh, 
No, it was this one over here. I didn't win elevator roulette, but I got on an elevator. So in a way I'm a winner. This might sound silly, but this lobby has the best water of any hotel lobby service industry that I've ever seen. If you look, yesterday it was oranges, but today they have fresh cut limes in the water. It's like nothing I've ever seen. Kind of hard to film yourself getting yourself in the water. Mm. The oranges were better. Actually, the limes kind of are gross. I won't be doing that again. One word to the convention. Overall ticket sales to Origins 2016 were a little bit down compared to last year, but turnstile numbers actually were up, which means fewer individual people attended the convention but they stayed for more days of the convention, causing there to be more people present overall. Hey, it's Sam. Hi, Sam. Whoa! You're just, you're getting ready to go interview. I am. Cool, who are you interviewing? Uh, it's gonna be Fun to 11 or 5 to 11, what is it? Uh, 311? Fun uh, to 11. Fun to 11. Fun to 11, the epic PvP. Uh, I'm gonna be doing them. And then I'm also gonna be doing Steam Forge games for um, Guild Ball and uh, um, Dark Souls. Cool. Uh, and then we'll be doing Steve Jackson a little bit later on as well. Steve Jackson games, I don't know what they're bringing. Uh, so closing out the day, actually. Oh, you are? Oh, cool. So you're the last batch of interviews. I am, yes. Cool, cool. I have heard so much buzz about Guild Ball. It's gonna be interesting to see it up close and personal. Yeah, it'll be really cool, I think. Yeah. Well, Nito. Well, by the time you see this, you will have already have seen those. Yes. So I'm sure they went well. I think they did. Cool. <laughs> Excellent. The Dice Tower had interviews with publishers and designers scheduled nearly every 10 minutes on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday for an estimated 110 video interviews that we did. With us all settled in and ready to go, that's it for this episode. But join us next time when I'll point my vlog towards the rest of the sites in the convention hall and we'll see what else there is to see at Origins. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer and you've been watching the Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Now, they said there's service elevators that are available. Let's go see if those are any faster. Because these elevators still aren't beeping. <laughs>